Oh, hello, how you doing? Okay, it's been a while, hope all is well. Um, it's been a long time since I've fronted the video, as we said, over three years, but uh, here we are. Uh, so some Amstrad and Amiga pickups from over the last couple of years, to be honest. So um, without further ado, we'll get on with it, because I'm gonna probably whiz through these, don't want to go on for too long. First one then, uh, it's an absolutely ancient game, 984, 85, and must be one of the first um, Ocean games released for the Amstrad Ocean software, a great software house. Anyway, without further ado, Gilligan's Gold. Um, this is like um, a platform of sorts, it's a bit similar in ways to like Chucky Egg, for example. Uh, what you do, you run around the screen, up ladders and stuff like that, collect the gold, chuck it into a wheelbarrow, and uh, once you collect all the gold on the screen, you move on to the next screen and um, do the same again. I think there's only a few screens, you've got bad guys to avoid. And it's all against the time limit as well. Every time you get a gold in the wheelbarrow, you get some extra time. Stuff like that. It's good fun. Very simple. Simple graphics. Very simple sound. Obviously, got the same, don't it? Mid 80s. Um, but a really good game to play. So there you go. Uh, so we go from one extreme to the other. And this game came out in 2011. And it's fantastic. It really is. So I haven't played it, but I've seen it on YouTube. Uh, I'll we'll do it again. Sub Hunter. Um, 25 levels of subaquatic blast in action. I don't know what's going to come out. It's like, let's see the screens there. But uh, I'd recommend if not, go and see it. Look it up on YouTube. It comes out, comes out really well on the Amstrad. There we go. Inside. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah. Really colourful parallax scrolling stuff like that. And uh, I don't know if I love these clamshell cases. I was like them back in the day. Recommend that one. A couple of compilations for the CPC. The first one on the Amiga, this is a fantastic compilation. On the Amstrad, you well, know, <laughs> I think you put in a buy for really one game. Uh, maximum Action Extra. So you've got Turrican 2, Saint Dragon, Swiv, and Night Shift. Now, Turrican 2 on any system is uh, fantastic, pretty much. Saint Dragon on the Amstrad is colourful such a small gaming area on the screen and uh, it moves at a snail's pace. Swiv uh, is a specky port. Damn specky port. I hate specky ports. Uh, it's, it's detailed, shooter. It's, play it's still playable but oh, it could have been so much better. You know? A night shift, honestly I don't know much about a night shift. It's a platform of sorts. This came from France. Uh, basically just pays for postage. I don't know what's a bit on it so marvellous. I was actually after, I don't know why, I was actually after Swift with the Amstrad. It's uh, something to do with video I was thinking of doing, which I haven't got around to, but I might do. Hey ho. Second one, compilation that is, uh, there we go, look. Top 10 collection. Uh, this then is a bunch of Darrell software games, pretty much. Look at that. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So we've got Saboteur 1, 2, Sigma 7, Critical Mass, Airwolf, Deep Strike, Combat Links, Turbo Esprit, which is a really good uh, drive around the city, shoot to get bad guys in a car sort of game. Oh, one of my favourites from back in the day. Thanatos and Bomb Jack 2. A few of these games appeared on other compilations, the Big Four compilation, I've got that as well. So three of them appeared on there. So there we are. Uh, probably won't ever play that one, so I don't need to. But on the back, no screen on the back. Quite a nice uh, thing to have, you know. So that is all me Amstrad games. Uh, so six Amiga games, some of them are compilations as well. No, one of them is a compilation, sorry. First up then, it's come through the other day, 99 pence. Muds. Mean, ugly, dirty sport. This is uh, it's quite funny actually in a way. The hotel is a real flea pit. The lonely shark is knocking at the door. We lost the fight in the tavern. <laughs> Betting fraud has been busted, the referee has been bribed by rivals and team morale is lower than ever. So it's a, a future violent sport type thing along the lines of speedball. Um, and you've got management aspects as well, those are different management aspects. I'm not sure why that's coming out, sorry about the, uh, the camera. The camera's on its way out by the way, so it's um, rainbow art software and uh, the box design everything like that it just reminds me of Turrican as well, the Turrican games come out similar. 
screen on the side. Um, a big old manual actually. That's all. That's all English. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's holding there, but so I mean, I think it's quite well liked this game, but I haven't, I haven't played it myself yet, so I can tell you anything else about it. But uh, 99 pence, bargain. Next up then is, well, I'll call it a compilation if you like, a trilogy. Now I have this for the Amstrad, uh, a good trilogy for the Amstrad. I'm not sure about the Amiga versions yet, I've not played it. The Star Wars trilogy. Why on earth they put them in these plastic boxes, I will never know. Awful things. It's like the Dreamcast games, they were awful plastic things as well. Um, broken along the bottom there, but that was in the description, so no one else bid on it, so <laughs> I'll hold it. Uh, yeah, Star Wars trilogy. There isn't much to say about the Star Wars trilogy, you don't really know. All three games, of course. Uh, slightly better on Amiga in some ways, obviously, sound wise and stuff like that, I imagine. But not played it yet, so I couldn't really tell you much about it. But a nice one to have. Uh, like 99p shop sort of thing. <laughs> this next one wasn't. Now, it seemed like the late 80s arcade conversions for the Amiga come in these, what I call a side view box. Operation Wolf. What I mean by that is like that's like a top down and that's like a side view. Does that make sense? Uh, anyway, Operation Wolf. Again, a really good game on the Amstrad. We really enjoyed. Uh, the Amiga version is okay. Uh, I'm not sure if there are Amiga screenshots at the bottom there, whether you'll see them or not. Look at that, perfect condition box. The seller even uh, take the discs in so they didn't rattle around. I'm not even played it yet. Um, yeah, I like them. Quite a few games come out like that. I, I like collecting these ones, the side view. So I might get a few more then. Not necessarily cheap to do. Okay, oddball time. This, um, <laughs> well, that's an adventure of sorts. Loads of locations. Plan 9 from outer space. Uh, it's like a, a B movie for the Amiga. Like I say, you've got loads of uh, locations, 70 locations. And <laughs> so, collaboration with Konami and Gremlin, which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, I think a version of this comes with a video cassette as well. Could be wrong. I don't know. It's a long time ago now. <coughs> don't appear too often, but here it is. And uh, can't get inside it. On four discs and uh, a couple of manuals. <coughs> Excuse me. Not much else to say, really. I haven't tried it yet. It could be quite funny. It could be really bad. I think the reviews are a bit mixed on that one. So uh, moving on. Uh, one of my recent videos was uh, my Psygnosis big box pickups. Uh, well, just pickups, not necessarily big box, but um, it occurred to me I'd like quite a few. I'm not actually collecting the uh, the range for the Amiga, so it's like 70 old games. But I'm not, not against picking them up when uh, they come along quite cheap. Like this one, Armageddon. Uh, I think there was a sequel as well to Armageddon. This is a, a flight sim stroke shooter filled in polygons. Pretty good I think for its day. Um, not um, overly my sort of thing. But this is like the golden age of Psygnosis where it come in the, the box like that as well, you know. Class presentation but maybe it cost too much is why they changed it, who knows. But uh, yes, Armageddon. I think it makes 22 out of 70 odd. <laughs> I'm not, not collecting them, not collecting them. So apparently the camera shut off, so uh, <laughs> it stopped recording, so the end of that video wasn't the end of the video. I don't know. So you didn't get to see the last game basically, so can't have to do. Um, coming back to that Psygnosis uh, edition video I did, I uh, also showed a game called Red Zone, which is a polygon bike racer. Looks pretty good, uh, at least the, screen, the screens look pretty good, but um, it didn't quite pull it, they didn't quite pull it off apparently, yeah, according to the reviews and that. I haven't actually played it, so. Um, but probably less than a year after that, another one come out, which I'm probably sure you're aware of. No second prize. Um, Alien Software, which knew how to get the most out of the Amiga, they did. You look at uh, Lionheart, for example, the platform hack and slash, plus flying sections, fantastic. Really, 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 it's good. Uh, 
uh, yeah, so there's the back. You might just be able to see the screens here. Um, this is apparently how you do do a Polygon race on your Amiga. I'm going to show you inside the box because I can't get open. <laughs> uh, couple of discs, oh, one disc, I think, and manual, not much. But uh, yeah, 20 tracks, uh, 20 race season, five other competitors, blah, blah, mouse control. I don't know, I've never really got a mouse control. I don't know. I always prefer keyboard, things like that, but who knows. But that's how you do it, apparently. So there we go. And finally, uh, talk about Amiga stuff. Uh, this this book some time ago. Bloody heavy book. Look at that. The Commodore Amiga, a visual compendium. This, uh, through the whole age of the Amiga, from the start to more or less was the finish. And this is a fantastic book. Bitmap books. Uh, bought this online somewhere, right? I can't remember where. I might actually do a little video regarding so you can see the whole thing much better. Uh, fantastic, really enjoyable. Uh, it says something about, some mentions about something each page, you know, making the game or whatever it was. Um, no idea what I'm showing you, but you can see it. Uh, fantastic book. Uh, really recommend if you've got your light Amiga. Definitely something worth getting. So there we go. Get that books. Anyhow, so that's the uh, most of the Amiga pickups and stuff like that. Um, other videos coming. Um, I've almost finished my Amstrad Top 20 games. My personal picks, not the Top 20 Amstrad games, but my Top 20. And I've also done a video, which is complete, uh, my Top 10 budget Amstrad games, which is quite good. Well, that's quite good. Um, some games you probably might not have heard of, so if you do or do not like the Amstrad, it might be worth a look. When it comes out, that shouldn't be long. Uh, what else I've got coming out? I don't know really. <laughs> we'll see what else I'll do. Um, no other collection bids or nothing at the moment. Uh, but no other CD32 games. Uh, that's just pretty much dead in the water, unfortunately. Uh, part of a six games, whatever is left to get, it's just not impossible. So uh, there we go. I think I'll leave it at that. So you watch this. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.